Wait, what was happening last time? I don't even remember. Um, okay, so Brayden was... Brayden was really coming on to Zack after kissing him in the park or on campus or whatever. And he's been flirting hard with him. And, like, he's just been leading him on, sort of, so... That's fucked up. Alright. He quickly kicks his legs around and drops his head into my lap. What, was he about to give him a massage or something? What's, what's going on here? Okay, he is. <laughs> Can you get my shoulders from here? I stare. He's beautiful. It's like seeing him for the first time again. I swallow hard. Um, yeah, actually, this is perfect. Really awesome, because I can still see, too. What? You can't see if you close your eyes, you stupid little brat. My hands find a soft skin without arguing. That sounds so creepy. <laughs> oh, like he's a murderer or something. My hands find a soft skin without argument, and I delicately brush my fingers across his shoulders without even intending to massage. What does that mean? What are you intending to do? <laughs> just feel him up a little? Just exploring and enjoying the contact. Okay, yes, just feel him up a little. The way the soft hairs on his skin react and tease my fingertips. He doesn't seem to mind. Of course he doesn't mind. He wants you to touch him. He wants you to just, like, rub your hands all over him. He just, he wants this. Heh, <laughs> that felt good. Or that feels good. He absently stares in, at the movie as my fingers plunge into his muscles. I can feel the difference in his size. There's more resistance than before. This dude's seriously toned up, like, overnight. So, you can barely see the TV from there? Yeah, it sucks. You should, like, get it checked out or something, man. Uh, could you imagine me with glasses? I'm not feeling it. Shut up, you'd look fine with glasses. Or you could just wear contacts or get laser. God, I remember people getting bullied in school with glasses and shit. I was glad I never had to deal with that. You're in college now. I don't think anyone's gonna bully you for your glasses. I hope not. <laughs> Can Zack grab Brayden's boob? Ew, you're gross. <laughs> Does the vision impact your wrestling? Not really, because it was a close-up and you sort of go by the feel of things. Guess that makes sense. Message retracted. Hmm, wonder what you said. <laughs> Hi, Revenant Julian. Over the course of the movie, my fingers start to cramp. I stop massaging and just continue mindlessly caressing my hands over his naked shoulders, smiling as the, at his occasional shiver. Damn, I mean... <laughs> Damn, you're good at this. <laughs> thanks. I'm not even really massaging them anymore. Were you massaging them at any point? <laughs> Were you just running your hands over him? I know, still feels good though. You can keep doing it. <laughs> I like it when you just sort of touch me all over my body. <laughs> no homo. I smile. I feel like this is how we should watch every movie. What the fuck, Brayden? Like, honestly. You're so gay. God. I don't say anything back. I let the sound of that marinate. I let it echo in my head like an affirmation on the meaning of life. My mind absently wanders back to the movie, continuing... God, this is just creepy. This is literally just creepy. Now he's all over his face. It's... it's... I don't know what's going on. <laughs> My mind absently wanders back to the movie, 
continuing to touch Brayden's shoulders and sometimes allowing my hands to drift up his neck and run through his hair. This is so gay. You're going to put me to sleep if you keep doing that. I playfully run my hands through his hair again. He smiles back then shifts his attention back to the movie. Oh shit, I completely forgot about this part. Startled, I shift my attention to the movie, where sensual music starts to play, and two characters step into a shower together. Oh, maybe this will... This will get something going between them? This girl is so hot! Literally, Raiden. So annoying. Even though we know you're gay. So annoying. I cock my head and stare at her. I can't disagree with him. I had the biggest crush on her. I can't believe I forgot about this scene. I watch as the camera pans across her perfect breasts, and my eyes shift down at the movement that starts to occur inside Brayden's jockstrap. He in stares intently, while part of me is saddened by his lack of overt attention or attraction to me. It's interesting to see what type of person he's actually interested in. Is he bi? Uh, I don't think, I don't, he's totally gay, come on. He's totally gay. There's just no getting around that. It's even harder not to compare myself. My attention shifts between the sex scene and Brayden as his jockstrap continues to swell. Does he even realize what's happening? I'm staggered as his waistband begins to shift as the head of his dick pushes forth, peeking from beneath as it gradually hardens. I can feel myself weaken with my attraction as I emotionally salivate desperately hoping for it to just tear its way free. I mindlessly continue to stroke my hands slightly over Brayden's shoulders and chest as I was unable to pull my eyes away. Ah! Oh my god, oh my gosh. Oh wait, oh no, okay. That was a close one, guys. <laughs> um, you can't see it, but, um, because my face scam is covering it up. <laughs> Oof. But, um, Brayden's little... His little camper, um, it just poked out of his underwear. Ugh. Oh, wow. That is like a Christmas miracle for me. <laughs> didn't even have to, didn't even have to attempt to censor that one. Nope. <laughs> uh, but just let's make sure Pleasure Cat is ready. Um, is he ready? He's ready. <laughs> Suddenly, I see it flex and swell, jumping as blood rapidly pours into it. Literally, Brayden, like, what are you doing? Yeah, don't act all shocked and surprised. Don't be like, don't be like that. You know, like, you know you want Zack to see that. Like, and also, you showed him that before, too? Like, when you were changing into your jockstrap or something? So I just, I don't know why he's, he's pretending like this. Like, I don't understand. Like, we all know what you want. Brayden reacts, suddenly realizing what's happening to him, and claps a hand over the swelling mound in his jock. Shit! My bad. Guess I like this scene more than I thought I did. He tries to press it down inside his jock. And I physically see him react, lightly thrusting his hips forward to press his body back against it. He looks up at me desperately. <laughs> I mean, I can help you with that. Fuck, it's getting worse. It, it's okay. I stammer like an idiot, my throat dry, probably because my mouth has been hanging open. Move your way, it's in the way of his head. <laughs> I can't. Mine does that too. You want me to turn the light out? Wait, why? Why are we turning the light out? I don't. So you can't see his boner? But I, I, oh, that seems really weird. 
like, if someone gets a boner in, like, a dorm room, you turn the light out? That seems like a really weird reaction. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> nah, it's okay. Maybe I'll just head to bed or something. How do you not feel himself getting an erection? I know, I know. It's like, how do you not feel that? Like, you know whether you're getting an erection or not. It's not like it's a big surprise when it happens. <laughs> you want me to leave for a bit? Heh, <laughs> no way, you're okay. Just another one of those roommate things, I guess. Not the first time, right? Ah, stop showing your booty. <laughs> Brayden climbs out of bed, still managing to clasp one hand firmly against the front of his pants. What is this awkward pose that he's doing, though? Like, this is his I got an erection pose? Like, what is that? <laughs> like... His legs were just... You can't see his legs now, but they were really... They were really ridiculous. Brayden climbs out of bed. No, I just read that. Oh my god, Brayden, no. Stop. <laughs> Thank god for Pleasure Cat. I know, right? He rolls onto his bed, faces the wall. So, he was just afraid about showing us his dick. But now he's just gonna give us full view of, like... Of, like, all of this. Uh, like, all of his ass, is what I'm saying. Seems a little bit weird. But, I don't know. I'm not Brayden. Bald spot? Yeah, it does look like there's a bald spot. It doesn't there? Oh my god. Just give me a minute. Heh. <laughs> okay. I stretch out in my bed, desperately trying not to think about what his fully erect dick looks like. Pressing against the inside of his jock strap. We both embrace that awkward silence again, neither of us really knowing what to say. It isn't long before I hear a soft snore coming from his side of the room. I think it's gonna be back. His butt. Okay, no. <laughs> he briefly stirs before rolling back over towards me. God, it's infuriating how quickly he can fall asleep. Hell, he probably passed out from all the butt blood rushing to his big-ass dick. Can we, like, peek on him in the night again? I remember when he used to do that. I want to do that again. At some point, sleep overtakes me. The night is still and calm, but I find myself gradually awakening to a soft rustling. Oh my god, he's jerking again. The room is dark, but I don't remember ever shutting the light off. I run my hands through my hair and adjust in bed. He wants us to catch him and adjust in bed, rolling over to a new position. My eyes briefly glance towards the other side of the room, and I instantly snap awake. Like, literally, guys. He wants to be caught like this. <laughs> uh, he's trying to be the perfect match for Zack. By what? Having a bald spot? <laughs> Yeah, so, he's jerking it, clearly, um, and I think he wants Zack to see. I think. For the second time, I see Brayden in the darkness, cock fully erect and swollen. Oh, and here's a little motion of him jerking it. He shifts his skin slowly up and down, obviously teasing himself and thrusting his hips into his hand. My pulse quickens as I literally watch him fuck his hand. His pace begins to quicken. I can see his hand squeezing tighter around his enormous shaft. I absently run my hand down my chest and abs. Sharply when I find my own hardness and press it downward in the darkness. Literally, it's not even that dark in the room. Oh my gosh, it looks like his... Um, look. It looks like his, um, his little shorts, his little shorts have a hole in them. Like, what's going on? Brayden suddenly has a bald spot? He has holes in his, in his little boxer briefs? Like, what's going on? <laughs> this is, this is weird. There's like some kind of texture glitches or something, I don't know. Uh, let's put back Pajrak out. <laughs> Blood pours into it as I feel it defiantly push back in resistance. Brayden's eyes are closed peacefully. 
Yeah, because he wants to be able to... He wants you to be able to watch without him having to say, like, Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. This dude is in complete ecstasy right now. He needs new briefs? Kind of, yeah. He continues stroking, constantly changing rhythm, pulling his shaft from side to side at different angles. I hear him gasp when he bites his lips, slowing for a few seconds. Holy fuck, he's actually edging. Literally, like, this happens too often, Brayden. This is intentional, come on. Suddenly, his eyes burst open and he looks over at my bed. <laughs> hey, Brayden, what's up? <laughs> come here often? <laughs> um, suddenly his eyes burst open and he looks over towards my breath. Bed, his face explodes in an explosion of terror. He slaps his hand down against his cock, pressing it sharply against his stomach, briefly what wincing. I can physically hear the weight of his thickness as it makes contact with his hairless abs. The head swells and flexes under his palm, barely visible in the moonlight. Fuck, you caught me again? I thought you were asleep. Uh, I, I, um, I was. I just woke up. <laughs> I mean, all that loud fapping, how could I not wake up? Sorry, man, I didn't mean to spy, except... Except when I kept staring at you, even though... Even though I knew you were jerking off. And I kept staring for like 30 seconds. Didn't mean to, though. It's okay, you scared me more than anything else. Honestly, I didn't really care that much if you saw me. It was more getting caught that freaked me out. <laughs> I guess I'll just continue then, since it doesn't actually matter if you watch then. Sorry, man, I'm horny as fuck. It's been forever since I came, and every time I try to do it, something interrupts me. Oops, I just skipped a line. I was like that when I first got here. It felt, final it felt so good when I finally busted. Yeah, I wanted to do just a quickie, but shit felt too good. I sort of got into it. <laughs> yeah, I noticed you were edging. <laughs> yeah. I can leave, man. I'll go take a shower or something. Oh, Lord. Brayden's eyes shift downwards towards my crotch. <laughs> You're going out in the hallway like that, because I'd almost dare you to. You've caught a couple of people... Oh my god, I think he's like, kind of showing off his dick there. Uh, that's a little bit naughty. That's a little bit naughty, Zack. <laughs> I could see a shaft in the darkness. Um, you caught a couple of people rubbing one at your dorm. And like, what do you do when you catch them? Are you like... Or are they like, <laughs> do you want to help out? Are they like that? Or, um, or are you kind of, do you kind of try to, try to help out without even the masking? Or like, how does the three-way happen? <laughs> Why do you do it if you're afraid of being caught? Besides, aren't you okay with Zach being in the room? Exactly. Exactly. I think he is. He just doesn't want to admit it. I embarrassingly look down and realize my hand is still in my underwear. Meh, guess you're right. I'll just roll back over and go to sleep. You can finish then. I mean, okay, he rolled over. I guess, I guess Braden can continue, he can continue jerking off. I guess. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about that, but... Like, I don't know if they can really trust that Zack won't turn over again in the in in the darkness. Without argument, I roll over towards the wall and close my eyes tightly. You had a guy do that when you worked in the fitting rooms at Old Navy? Wait, do what? He was jerking off in the fitting rooms at Old Navy? And did you catch him? And what happened? Did he... was he like, help me out? Like, what happened? <laughs> Silas falls over the room again. Then I start to hear the soft rustling from Brayden's side. Obviously his foreskin is shifting up and downward. And up and downward. 
Okay, so he's actually going back to jerking off. Like, that's not... That's not awkward behavior. That's that's this typical roommate behavior. Typical straight roommate behavior. Yeah. What 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 can he love? Are you serious? They're like, well, they always say you can join or like the view. You catch them jerking off and they're just like, yeah, you can watch or you can help out. What the what kind of I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I've never interacted with heterosexuals. I don't know. I don't know. I stay away. And seriously, Naruko, that really happened to you at Old Navy? That's... Did you get fired for that? <laughs> Did you get fired for helping someone jerk off on the job? Like, seriously. <laughs> um, that's just, that's just a lot of crazy stories, guys. That's a lot of craziness. I try my best to block it out. It lasts for a few minutes, then stops. Silence. Zack? I roll back over in the darkness. Yeah? I can't do it, man. Why can't you do it? Um, wh what are you saying that you can't do? I'm a little bit confused. <laughs> He seems almost on the simultaneous precipice of depression, no, desperation, embarrassment, and laughter. You So you opened his door, asked, he asked you to bring him another size of pants, and when you brought them to him, he opened his fitting room door fapping, asked for a helping hand, so I have, so you have him your best customer service and helped him? Oh my god, like literally, like I, oh, I guess, I guess he just saw you and then he was like, wow, that's a really hot guy, gotta, gotta try to have him jerk me off, like I guess, like, good for you, good for you. You're awake and that's just weird, I feel like you can hear it. I'm not gonna lie, I totally can, that's kinda why I offered to go to the shower. But then you were like, no. <laughs> Probably because you actually want me to get involved somehow, right? Sounds like somebody raking leaves behind me. Is that actually giving him a hand job already? Oh my gosh. Oh my god, I fucking hate you so much. I'm just fucking with you, man. Just finish, I don't care at this point. You sort of need to finish too, don't you? Um, like, do I need to come? <laughs> he looks so surprised. Yeah. Like, are you still hard and stuff? Yeah, like, really hard. This is not normal. <laughs> just talking about their erections. His erection's just out. He's probably gonna ask Zack to help him out. Let's both do it then. If we're both doing it, it's not weird anymore, right? Huh? What? 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 Is this shit really happening? Like, calm down, Zach. Don't let your eyes, like, pop out of your face. Is he, like, encouraging me to jack off in the room with him? Wait, is this leading to mutual jerk? Of course it is. <laughs> And before I realize it, my mouth is talking on its own. Yeah, I'll do it. So you're seriously going to do it too? Yeah, honestly, I'm about to die right now. Heh, <laughs> same. You just can't look. What? What's the point of... What's the point of jerking off together if you can't look at the other guy who's jerking off? What the fuck? What do you mean you can't look? Literally, Brayden, stop acting so shy, like a baby. Okay, I won't look. You promise? I promise I won't look. And we gotta keep the light out. Yeah, that's fine. Ugh, I bet Brayden's someone who wants to have sex with the lights out too. 
This is so confusing, I cannot agree more. Y yeah, so can't look at the thing I'm hard about? I know, that's really weird. It's so weird. It's so weird. Okay, deal. Braden presses his cock back downwards, running his hand up and down the shaft, and I try to shift my gaze away. In the darkness, he looks just as hard as he was before. Your turn. I'm not watching you, but I want to make sure you're doing it too. So shit isn't... <laughs> so shit isn't weird. <laughs> I'm not going to watch you jerk off, but I just... I need to be 100% sure that you are jerking off. Otherwise, things will just be weird. I don't... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's happening. Um, I gotta cover up that shaft there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's happening. This is... this is a real... a real confusing mess. Um... But I guess it should be a lot of fun. I don't know. <laughs> I bury my hand in my underwear. Gripping my cock and giving it an aggressive squeeze. Well, don't choke the life out of it. Don't choke the life out of it. <laughs>